Hey everybody, it's great to see you. Glad you could join us again. Today I'm joined by an old friend, but a new friend to some of you, and her name, oh, Alice. Your hair's getting a little messy. It drives me nuts! Ah! Okay, Alice, calm down. I'll see if I can straighten your hair. But uh, I'm joined by a friend named Alice. Say hello, Alice. Hello, Alice! No, 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 I mean say hi to all the people. Hi to all the people! No, 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 Alice. I mean, um, uh, uh, never mind. Okay, let's say we talk about your day today. Well, I'm a bit confused. Why are you confused, Alice? Well, in science class, the teacher told me that people evolved from nothing to one-celled blobs to ape-like lower forms to humans and that we're merely advanced animals. Oh, yeah. Well, that was science class, was it? And then I went to health class, and my teacher told me that there are more than 58 genders out there. But all I see are boys and girls. Okay. And, and then I went to environmental studies, and that teacher told me that we are equal to the animals, and we have no right to be cutting down the trees because it disturbs their ecosystems. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, what's it, what is it about all that that bothers you? Well, it's pretty confusing. I know that animals are wonderful creatures, but I can't help but think that there's got to be something pretty special about people. After all, people can talk, create art, invent things. And even though people at school talk about all kinds of genders, cisgender, bigender, androgynous, agender, male, female, transgender. I look all around and all I see are two genders, boys and girls. Okay. And even though I think that we should take care of the environment and not pollute, I don't think it's wrong to cut down a tree. After all, we need to live somewhere too. Well... You got a point there. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the en enemy and the avenger. Pardon me? <laughs> well, that was from Psalm chapter 8, verse 2, Alice. Here it is. Out of the mouths of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. So what does all that mean? Well... Sometimes it's the children of the world that God uses to bring praise to him and silence his enemies. Did I just do that? Well, in a sense, I think you did. However, uh, I think we need some teaching from the Catechism and more importantly, from the Word of God. Last week, we learned about God's works of creation. The question for this week, however, is... How did God create man? And how did he? Well, the answer is, God created man, male and female, after his own image, in knowledge, righteousness, and holiness, with dominion over the creatures. What does that all mean? Well, let's start out at the beginning. First, it says in Genesis 1, verse 27, that God created man. You mean we didn't come from pro nothing to primordial soup that somehow developed into single-celled blobs that evolved into uh, fish that developed legs and crawled onto the land and became funny, furry, ape-like animals that eventually became people? No. People were created by God, and we were created separately from the other animals. People are God's special creation. But my science teacher said... Oh, hold it. Was your science teacher there when man was created? Well, no. <laughs> but God was. And God revealed to Moses, who wrote the book of Genesis, this verse in Genesis 1, verse 27. It says that the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Genesis 2, 7. Now, 
the next thing that the Catechism says is that God created man, male and female. It says here in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, male and female, he created them. Male and female? That's it? Uh-huh. Man and woman, boy and girl. But, but what about transgender, androgynous, agender, bigender? Alice, 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 those are categories made up by people because they don't want to follow what God says in the Bible. But God created man, male and female, man and woman, boy and girl. Here's an, an artist's illustration of them, Adam and Eve, the very first people who ever lived. Anyone who tries to change this and add to or take away from or take away from God's design, well they're in sin. But my teacher said never mind what your teacher said. What does the Bible say? Male and female created he them. That's right. Now, the next thing in the catechism is that God created man male and female after his own image. What does that mean? Well, here it is in Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, cre he created them. But what does in his own image mean? Well, here's an image of me. What is it? Well, it's a picture of you. Yeah. Well, this image looks like me. It resembles me. It reflects something of what I'm like. So... I look like God and God looks like me? Well, not exactly. You see, um, God is a spirit. He's like wind or the breath. He's here and he's real, but he cannot be seen. He doesn't have skin and bones like we do. Then how are people like God? Well, we're like God in a number of ways. As you said earlier, people can think in ways that the animals cannot. We can reason, we can invent things, we can design things, we can create art and music, we can talk and write to each other. And God can do all these things as well, only much better than we can. That's right. Animals can't do any of those things. But are both man and woman made in the image of God? That's right. Man and woman are both made in the image of God. It says male and female, he made them. So... When that bully at school made fun of me because I'm a girl, and I can just say right back to him that I'm just as much in the image of God as he is. That's right, Alice. You're absolutely right. But that's not all. God made man in his image in a number of amazing ways. First, God made man in his image in knowledge. That means that when God created man, he was very smart. He knew a lot, especially about God. What else did man have when God created him? Righteousness. When God made people, they were perfectly righteous. They had no sin in them, no badness and all goodness. In fact, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29 says, God made man upright. That means he made him good. Wasn't there another quality in man? Yes, holiness. Man was made holy. He was especially dedicated and devoted to God in a way that none of the animals were. In what way? Well, people have the ability to love, worship, and pray to God in a way that none of the animals could or can. Well, that's true. My puppy doesn't pray before he eats his supper. And then wasn't there one more thing that man had when God made him? Well, he had dominion over the creatures. In Genesis 1 verse 28, we read, Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. What's dominion? Well, dominion means to rule or to reign. It's like when a king rules over a country, or as God rules over all the universe. When God made people, he said that they were to rule over the animals, fish, and birds. Then... It's not evil to cut down a tree and build a house? No. God has given us the plants and the animals for our use. 
Now, we're not to abuse the earth or be cruel to the animals. That's part of the responsibility of ruling over the creatures that God gave us. But just as the first man looked after the garden that God put him in, even so we are to look after our earth. But in looking after earth, we are to plant gardens, tame the animals so that they can help us, build homes, and develop resources that God has given us to make life better. Well, this is great. It's so much better than what I learned in school. In school, I learned that I was evolved from a blob. That's right. That doesn't sound so good. And I was just a more advanced animal and had no right to interfere with anything in nature. I was so confused as to whether a person was a he or a she. And now I know that people are a special creation of God. We are male and female and that we're made in his image. We are like God in knowledge righteousness and holiness and like god rules the universe we rule the creatures the animals exactly most of the time our teachers mean well but when their teaching goes against the bible we need to follow the bible but wait a minute if we have such great knowledge why do so many people i know do such dumb things and if we're so righteous and holy why do so many people do bad and unholy things well, because the first people sinned against God, and the image of God that we had was spoiled. Oh, so we're no longer in the image of God? Oh, yes, we're still in his image, but it's as though the image has been damaged. It's like, like this picture of me. If I were to crumple, up, crumple it up, well, it's still a picture of me, but... The image is damaged. If I uncrumple it up there, ah, and pull it up, it's not really a very good image of me, and it's not really good for much except the, the recycling bin. So that's like what's happened. The image of God in us is has been da damaged. It no longer completely reflects what we're like. Or, or sorry, or it no longer completely reflects what God is like. We're still in his image, and that's why it's wrong to kill another person. When Noah and his family came off the ark, God said, Whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God, he made man. You see, because people are in the image of God, to kill another human being is killing someone who's like God. And that's very serious. I know that it's bad to kill someone, but is it okay to be mean to them if they really bug you? Like that girl at school who always shows up because she has lots of cool toys? I don't have I hope I don't have to say nice things to her. Well, Alice, even if they bug you, even if they're not that nice, you should still be as kind as you can. You see, it says in in uh, James chapter 3 verse 9, with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. But, but, even people I don't like are made in the image of God? Yes, even people whom you don't like. All people are made in the image of God, and we need to respect all people. But if the image of God in us is damaged... Will it ever get fixed again? Yes. The only, you see, the only person who ever fully reflected the image of God perfectly was our Lord Jesus Christ, because he was fully God and fully man. Colossians 1.15 says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Jesus knew all things just like God and was perfectly righteous, just like God, and was perfectly holy, just like God. And since he was the only one who showed the image of God uh, perfectly and had no sins of his own to atone for, he was able to die on the cross in our place. And then he rose from the dead on the third day. And if we believe in Jesus as our Savior, the Holy Spirit will change us so that we will be like God in knowledge, righteousness, and holiness. After all, Colossians chapter 3, verse 10 says, 
you have put you, that means us, those of us who are believers, you have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. And Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24 says, put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. If we believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is transforming us back into the perfect image of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 says, But we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hmm. I haven't met any perfect Christians yet. <laughs> Neither have I. But the text doesn't say we we have been completely changed. It says we are being changed. But that transformation won't be complete until we're in heaven. Just think, someday I will be completely free from everything in me that is bad, and the image of God will be restored in me perfectly. It will. First John chapter 3, verse 2 says, Beloved, we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We shall be like Jesus? We sure will. As Jesus was perfect, we will be perfect. Oh, I can't wait until that day. No more mean feelings, no more selfishness, no more getting in trouble, no more hair falling in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will be a great day in heaven, won't it? However, today's been pretty good as well. Anyway, I think, Alice, it's time that your parents should be picking you up soon. Would you like to say goodbye to our friends out there? Goodbye to our friends out there! No, 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 Alice, I mean, uh, oh, never mind. Lord willing, we'll see all of you next week.